let's say we have this circuit. Let's analyze the circuit. Well, again, we know we have positive 10 volts going through this entire going through this entire region. Positive 10 volts. We know we have resistor, so we're going to have a drop in voltage. So this entire is going to have a different voltage. And then we're going to have another drop in voltage here. And this entire region is going to be at zero volts. So let's analyze this. Let, first, let's determine the current going through the circuit. And again, we know how we do this. It's pretty straightforward. You, when we have resistors in parallel, we know how to find what they're equivalent to. We, we explained that in the previous video. So we know one ohm resistor and two ohm resistor in parallel are identical to having a two-third ohm resistor. And then again, we did nothing with this guy. So again, we know these resistors are identical to having these resistors. And then again, when we have resistors in series, we know how to solve this. Resistors in series, we simply just add them. So if we have a two ohm resistor and a two third ohm resistor in series, it's equivalent to having one 2.66 ohm resistor. So we know this circuit has 2.66 ohms of resistance. And again, the same with this circuit and the same with this circuit. All of these circuits essentially represent the same thing. They all represent the same amount of resistance. This resistance is identical. This resistance is identical to having this resistance, which is identical to having this resistance. But now that we find the total resistance of the circuit, we can find the current of the circuit. And again, we know how to do this using Ohm's law, using this form of Ohm's law, which represents the entire circuit. The total voltage of the circuit is 10 volts. And that equals the current flowing through the circuit multiplied by the overall resist the total resistance of the circuit, and the total resistance is 2.66 ohms. So now with a little bit of math, we could solve the current. We could solve the current, which equals 3.75 amps. So now we know, now we solved it. We solved the current. Flowing through the circuit is 7.55 amps. And let's get rid of this just to make this look a little nicer. But So we know the circuit has 7.55 amps going through. So this region, there's 3.75 amps going through. And in this region, there's 3.75 amps going through. And in this region, there's 3.75 amps going through. So therefore, we know at this circuit, at this resistor, how much current is going through. And again, we know, again, the circuit, the current is constant the conservation of charge so we know we have 3.75 amps going through here and we have 3.75 amps going through here and we we know that we, we explained if you choose any random point the current going through that point is is the same through, due to conservation of charge so now let's analyze this circuit let's use this equation again the the drop in voltage of a resistor equals the current going through that resistor multiplied by the resistance of that resistor so we know we can find the drop in voltage of this resistor if we know the current the current going through this resistor and the resistance of this resistor. And we already explained, we know the current going through this resistor. It's 3.75 amps. We already explained that that amount of current is going through each point. So we know this current has 3.75 amps of current going through this resistor. So we know the current going through this resistor is 3.75 amps. And we know the resistance of this resistor is 2 ohms. So now that we know this, we can find the drop in voltage. We can find the drop in voltage. We can find the delta V. And this would equal 7.5 volts. So that's the drop in voltage of this circuit. And again, remember the difference between this, uh, this equation and, and then this equation, V equals IR. This is for an entire circuit, while this one is for uh, just a single resistor. And again, so we found the drop in voltage of this resistor, 7.5 amps, volts. So we know the drop in voltage of this current is 7.5 volts. So again, we already explained how this part is at positive 10 volts. And we see we already calculated that we have a drop of 7.5 volts. So if we're at positive 10 volts and we have a drop of 7.5 volts, we know this entire region must be at positive 2.5 volts. This entire region has positive 2.5 volts. And again, we already know this region is at zero volts. So we know this region is at zero volts. So again, so now we know there's a 7.5 uh, voltage drop here, and we have a 2.5 drop in voltage here. And again, now that we know this, so, so now let's do some more ana analyzing. So again, now we know this entire part is at positive 2.5 volts, and we know this entire part is at zero volts. So now we know the drop in voltage of these two regions. It's, it's at positive 2.5 volts. And again, knowing that, now we can determine how much current is going through both of these regions. Because again, we already explained, we have 
coin go going through here and then we have 3.75 current going through here and we have 3.75 current going through here so we know that 3.75 current is some of it's going to go through here and some of it's going to go through here. So how do we find out exactly how much current is going through here and how much current is going through here? Well, again, we use this equation. We use this equation. So again, for example, maybe focusing on this resistor, we know the drop in voltage of this resistor equals the current flowing through that resistor multiplied by the resistance of that resistor. So again, we already know the drop in voltage of this resistor is 2.5 volts because we have 2.5 volts here and we have 0 volts here, so that's the drop in voltage, 2.5 volts. So 2.5 volts, and that equals the current going through this, circuit, this resistor multiplied by the resistance of this resistor. And we know the resistance is 1 ohms. So now solving for the current, this is pretty simple. The current would give us 2.5 amps. So now we know this resistor, it, we know the drop in voltage is 12 volts, and we know the current going through this resistor is 2.5 amps. So that's how much current is going through this resistor. How about this resistor? How much current is going through this resistor? Well, again, we, we know the, the drop in voltage of a, of a single resistor equals the current flowing through that resistor multiplied by the resistance. And again, the drop in voltage was 2.5 volts. We already explained that. And that equals the current flowing through this resistor multiplied by the resistance, which was 2 ohms. This resistor was 2 ohms. So now solving for the current, we would get a current of 1.25 amps. So now we know the current flowing through this resistor is 1.25 amps. Let's think about it. Does that make sense? Well, we already explained that the current flowing through this region was 3.75 amps. The current going in this, this entire region was 3.75 amps. And we know the current leaving here was 3.75 amps. We already explained that. So therefore, does it make sense that we have 2.5 amps going through here and 1, 2.25 amps going through here? Well, yeah, because if you add these, they equal 3.75 amps. So, so conservation of charge. The amount of charge going through here has to equal the amount of charge leaving. And that charge is spread out. And again, because we have twice the resistance here, we have half the current. Here we have 2 ohms. Here we have 1 ohms. So therefore, we have twice the resistance, so we have half the current. And again, we know that, so this 3.75 current is going through here. It diverges where 2.5 current goes through here and 1.25 currents go through here. And then they converge to, again, 3.75 amps of current. 